Hi, my name is Kyle Porter and I'm an engineer here at Simba Technologies. Today, I'm going to show you how to connect Tableau to MongoDB using the Simba MongoDB ODBC driver. So, I've already got MongoDB installed on my machine and I already have data in MongoDB. So you can see that we have MongoDB already up and running here on my local machine. Um, and we can log in using the Mongo shell. And we can see some of the, the uh, data already here. So we're going to show the databases. Um, we're going to use the TPCH database that I've created. I'm going to show the collections. And you can see there's a number of collections that I've already created. Um, and we can see some of the data in here. So db.parts.find. And you can see there's uh, the first 20 rows, uh, first 20 documents in my collection. Um, so you can see that we already have some sample data in MongoDB. And the next step in connecting to Tableau is that we need the Simba MongoDB ODBC driver. So to get that, open your browser and go to www.simba.com. Then go to products and under connectors, go to MongoDB. Once here, on the very right hand side, there's a free trial section. So you just fill in your information, um, select which operating system you want, and go try now. Um, underneath the documentation section, you'll also see um, a quick start guide. And this shows you how to install MongoDB, how to load data, how to configure the driver, and how to connect it to Excel and Tableau. Um, if this also comes in the, the download. Um, but if you need it for more reference, it's also on the website. I've already created an account, so I'm just going to log in. And once I've logged in, I can go and I can trial out some of the drivers. So I'm going to select MongoDB for Windows. We'll agree to the terms. And we'll download. So you can see that the the download includes both the 32-bit and 64-bit versions. I'm going to be using Tableau 32-bit, so I'm going to be using the 32-bit portion of the download. Um, you'll also receive a separate email with a license key in it that you'll need to use the driver. And I'll show you where the license key goes later on. So now that our download is completed, We'll just extract our download. So you can see there's the 32-bit and 64-bit versions of the driver, and there's some documentation. So we'll go and we'll install the 32-bit version. Install. And there we go. So before we can use our driver, we'll have to install the license that was emailed to us. I already got a license here. So what you'll need to do is you'll just copy that and you'll go to the directory that you installed the driver in. By default, the 32-bit driver is installed in program files, Simba Mongo DBODBC. And then we'll go to the lib directory and we'll paste our file here. That was the wrong one. So now we can see that the, the, the .lic file, the license file, has been copied to where the driver is. So now we've got our license installed. So now we have MongoDB and we have the driver installed. The next part is we need to configure the connection to the driver. So that's called setting up a DSN or data store name. So to do that, go to your start menu, go to the Simba MongoDB ODBC driver, and go to the ODBC administrator. Go to the system DSN tab, and here you can either configure the existing DSN which was installed by um, the driver installer, or you can add a new one. We're just going to configure the existing one that was installed by the driver. 
So here's the configuration dialog for the driver, and you can enter a description, you can enter host, port, and so on. So since I'm using a local um, instance of MongoDB, we're just going to enter in localhost here. I'm, I didn't change the port, so we'll use the default port. I'm going to be using the TPCH database, as I showed you earlier, and I'm not using authentication, so I'll just remove that. If you have MongoDB set up in a cluster, um, you can connect to replica sets. However, I have this just installed locally, so I'm not using replica sets. The other thing that you'll want to do is you'll want to open up the schema definition section. So, as you probably know, MongoDB is a schemaless data source. And what that means is for each collection, there is no um, predefined columns and types. Um, instead, there's just documents in your collection, and each document can be different from the next. Just because there's a field in a document doesn't mean it's going to be present in the next document. ODBC and SQL require you to have a fixed set schema. So to bridge that, we have the schema definition tool, which will inspect the data to figure out a schema. So at the very top, we can see um, a dropdown consisting of all of the collections in our database. So we'll choose the parts collection. And here at the top, this shows the columns that have been auto-detected by the driver. And at the very bottom, we have a preview of the data um, according to that schema. The way that the driver detects which columns are present is that it samples um, the first n rows in your database. And for each document that it looks at, it finds all of the fields that are present and creates a column for them, and then takes the common set. And as it does that, it also tries to determine the type. Now you might find that the type isn't exactly what you want, and in that case you can just go change the type. Or you might want to rename a column. Or in some cases it might be that you, want, you don't want some of the fields to be shown up at all. Let's say you don't want the brand to be showing. We can just go hide that, and you'll see that it disappears from our data preview. Um, you might also want to selectively um, sample the data, in which case you can enter a JSON filter here in the same format that you'd enter it in the Mongo shell, so that when the driver is sampling data, it will just um, sample your filtered rows. And finally, you might also just want to manually add or remove columns in case you have a, a complex document. In this case, the driver's actually detected everything um, as I want it to. So we're just going to go and save this schema. And what happens when we hit save is that we're actually going to take the schema that we've, we've detected and we're going to write it back to a, a special collection in MongoDB. Um, so that when you're using um, the driver and you're connecting it to Tableau, the driver will look at this special collection, um, say you're opening the parts collection then it will look at the special schema collection and figure out which columns and what the types are of those columns um, and what the names are for those columns that you're looking at. And now that we've done configuring our driver, we'll just hit OK to save everything. So now we have MongoDB installed with some data and we have the driver installed and configured. So the next part we want to do is we actually want to start up Tableau and connect it to the driver. Before we do that, first thing that we want to do is we want to configure Tableau for use with the driver. Tableau can connect to any ODBC driver, and when it does that, it doesn't know the capabilities of that driver. So it's kind of like the, the least common denominator. You can provide this TDC file, which tells Tableau what the driver can do and optimizes your connection process. And we provide a TDC file in the download for the driver. So you'll want to copy this Simba MongoDB ODBC driver.tdc file, and we'll copy that to the Tableau repository directory. So that's located 
under your Documents section, My Tableau Repository, Data Sources. So we'll just copy that file there. And once there, Tableau will just automatically detect it when you make a connection to that driver. So now we can actually start Tableau. As I mentioned, I'm using the 32-bit version of Tableau. To determine what bitness you're using, just go to the Help menu and go to About Tableau, and the bitness is shown in the upper right-hand corner. If you're using 64-bit, this would say 64-bit. Here you can see I'm just using the 32-bit. So to make the actual connection, go to Connect to Data, scroll to the very bottom to Other Databases, ODBC, and then you can see there's this DSN section here. Hit the drop-down and choose the DSN that you created or configured earlier. We're going to choose the sample Simba MongoDB DSN that we were configuring earlier. Then hit Connect. OK. OK. And you can see that it's now making a connection to MongoDB using the driver. OK. So now we have an open connection to MongoDB using the driver. This is Tableau 8.2, which was just released. If you're using Tableau 8.1, this might look a little bit different. However, the initial process is still the same. So we're going to select our TPCH database. We'll just search for our tables. And you can see that all of the collections in our MongoDB database are present here. So we'll choose the parts collection. You can see all of the columns have been detected properly. And we can update now. And you can see that all of the data is being shown. So we'll go to worksheet. All of the columns have been appropriately identified as either a dimension or a measure. So we can create a small little report here. Throw a type on the, the columns here and the manufacturer here. And this is all connecting live. This isn't pulling data into Tableau and then working on it within Tableau. This is actually issuing SQL queries against the driver, against MongoDB, and working on your data live. And you can see here that we can, we can see that for each type of product, which manufacturer has the most in stock. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more about Simba or the Simba MongoDB ODBC driver, please visit www.simba.com.